the beautiful cowboy fans coming through. Hola, como, hey, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. It is getting wild out here at SoFi Stadium. We're doing shots. We got whiskey. It's going down. That's how cowboy fans do it. All the camp fan of maniacs out there. How about them cowboys? We walked what I call in a Dallas Cowboys corridor. As you can tell, we are at a Cowboys home game. Yes, I understand that we are in Los Angeles, Inglewood, technically SoFi Stadium, but this is basically AT&T West. So follow me this way. We're gonna see if we can find a couple of fans. We are infiltrating enemy territory. The Cowboy fans are doing it right. We got the signage, we got the great food, we got the inflatable. Start of today's game. We're gonna beat the shit out of them. Oh, you see this right here? How do you feel about today's game? We better win, that's all I know. Absolutely. How do you feel about Dak Prescott Absolutely after last week's performance? Uh, Dak Prescott has been very consistent with the division. He has took us back to back 12 and 5 seasons. You know what I mean? He has winning records above. You can say what you want about the past seven years, but on our division, he has been owning it for years. Are you a Dak writer or are you a Dak hater? Before he broke his finger, I was a writer. Now, Oh. They need to let him go now. You know Dak Prescott's watching this right now, right? <laughs> Actually follow the, the campaign podcast. Let's go! Crack him if you got him. Crack him if you got him, son. All day, every day. Crack him if you got him, Seattle. Here we are at Lumen Field. And is that a Harry Potter reference? Maybe. I don't know. I've casted a lot of Lumen spells. Lumen video. Not. We want to see Deuce. We want to see them repeat. Uh, I want I want them repeat. And I don't need three beats if they repeat. I don't need three beats. I don't need three beats. If they repeat. Let's You don't think we're gonna make the post? So this is this is maybe wild. This is where I'm like I'm good for a good ribbing, but like to say we're not gonna make the postseason. Now I can't even argue with you. Because you you've sucked. Oh god. You know it too. You know it. Who's your quarterback? pristine athletes in modern history playing in the NFL even the offensive linemen are incredibly athletic I mean these guys are over 300 pounds and you know they can not only the size but the speed of the linemen are you kidding me on the field. you're telling me a guy that's 330 pounds meant to block a guy that's 290 pounds is faster than me a sporty 240 I do 40 I do 40 I, do 40. I could beat any one of those guys right now and I drink a six-pack what you're wearing Crocs! My 40 time is better than any of them. Erroneous! 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 Erroneous on all accounts! I've never been more sure of anything in my life. How'd I do? 13-5! <laughs> Final quarter, here we go, baby! TD for the TD, baby! And I'm going for two. Woo! I don't know. Why my safety was just playing off so far. Tackle him! Yeah, well, I might be a boomer, but you sound like a pipsqueak. You don't even know how old I am. No! (laughs) 
little shit. You didn't win the game, I lost it. Make sure you know where he is, because he understands how to get it through. I might be old, but at least it don't still piss my pants. Protect you and your loved ones with Crack'em VPN. Ever heard the game, Mary f Kill? Okay, like, yeah, I'm gonna give you three people, and you gotta decide who will you marry, who will you f who will you kill? Okay. Jerry Jones, Jack Prescott, and Tony Romo. Mary Jerry, he's got all the monies. Uh, probably f Tony, Jack Prescott, you gotta kill him. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna Robo. She's gonna f with Robo. I'm gonna marry Dak. She's gonna marry Dak. I'm gonna kill Jones. She's gonna kill Jerry Jones. Who will you marry f or kill? Between Jerry Jones, uh, Dak Prescott, and then Tony Romo. I'm out. Jerry I'm Young, out. F you. So Jerry, f Jerry? Jerry Young, f you. Okay. F you. Who will you marry, Dak Prescott or Tony Romo? Tony Romo. Tony Romo. So that, means, that means you would kill Dak? Yes. Marry Dak, kill Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones, poor Jerry. Tony Romo. Why not? He's, the, he's probably one of the best commentators, announcers on the game right now. Tony Romo? That's mine. Yeah. Uh, That's I'm mine. Good. Jerry Jones, right now. <laughs> right now. You heard it here, guys. You heard it. We need trash can. Oh, here we go. AJ, you have to sleep in this for the night. Yeah. Football, we already got. AJ's trying to take a piss right now. <laughs> trash can. Stickers. 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 Couple stickies. Couple stickies. Yes. <laughs> so we got we <laughs> we got a trash can. We're gonna go test it out in the toy aisle. You're not getting it first. First try. He's not getting it. Give these guys a shot, they'll win a jersey if they get it. <laughs> oh, none of us made, made it. it. Come on, Dad, you get a free Cowboys jersey if you get it. None of us have made it. Dad's going for a shot. Come on, let's get it. Oh, oh that, was, that was the closest it one. It felt like the closest. That gross? Yeah. We all missed it, so <laughs> don't worry about it. We missed it. You guys were in the game tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, oh nice, cool. us too. Not only are we giving away three jerseys for whoever can toss a football into that can, we're also going to be leaving the can so someone can take that home too. Kick off's a month away. Yeah, but we gotta get our reps in. Yeah, they train, we train. Crack them, bro. No, it's 7.30 and it's a Wednesday. Road pop? Oh! No, I'm going to work and I'm driving. Get out of my car. Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Let's get it! Get, guys, can we just get one? I mean, Let's just get one. Doing the mojo moment. We got Dak Prescott in there. What they do is they, they're running one play, and then right after they just kick a field goal. TP20 to the outside. Out to the left, gets tackled. Swallowed behind up. the line by Micah. Micah and his gang. The linebacker. The linebacker gets So they're going to come back out. Again, it's going to be Aubrey. He missed his first field goal attempt. short or left? Aubrey missed left. Let's see if he can put it through this time. It is... Short! Short! What the f***?
muted? Yeah. <laughs> were we muted? <laughs> we, were, we, were, we, were, we were muted the whole time. And we were feeling good. I can't wait to dub that. Do we just go... <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it happens to the best of us. I wonder if they heard the... Mu- uh, they wouldn't heard the music or anything. No, you but, had us but, muted. But, but, hey, audio listeners... You got it. Yeah, audio listeners have no idea what's happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> but welcome to the Cowboys Can Fan Show. Like Ad said, he is wearing his bandwagon boy shirt, but he is also by himself. You don't see somewhere in this screen where we usually have crack him if you got him, son. Alex Bandwagon Boy 2, he has come down with some sort of bug in Thailand, which is kind of scary because who knows what it could be. He's not feeling good. He's feeling pretty sick, so hopefully he gets better. And we're just hoping it's not malaria or dengue fever or yeah. I don't know something worse. You know, you just don't you just don't know. But you, 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 the funny thing is, is because and not maybe, to go back on the, the the missing sound. Generally, when it's uh, when Alex is here, his job is to like record on the podcast recorder. Yep. And then I'm doing everything else over here. But when he isn't here, I'm always like late to press record on there or something, just because we run a pre roll. Humans. So, humans are. Ne- uh, what is it? Humans drift. No humans. They when it you get into a routine. Al, right. That's your guys's routine. Yeah. We, you guys have been Habitual. doing it for you three guys, years. You've been doing it three years. You start. AJ hits record. Yeah. I haven't even he, taken he does, that on. He does the music and everything. So, and and all I was saying is like today I'm like oh I got that recording, but then I didn't have the audio. So it's like uh, that's okay. We you guess know what? what can't be perfect, but the show's gonna be perfect. Sunday baby. It's Wednesday, but no <laughs> sun, Sunday sh- Sunday show. I'll be perfect. Is what perfect I was Sunday. We will be perfect. Welcome to the Cowboys Can Fan Show. Like we said, it's just Ad Best and 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 Anth. It's the Bro Show up in the Hizze, and it could be that solar eclipse that we had the other day that's messing with you. My and eyes. I have a I have a video ready here. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's just titled "2024 Solar Eclipse," and it's on the Dallas Cowboys. YouTube page. Do you want me to play it? Yeah, I want you to throw it up. I just want to kick off the show with this. I have no idea what it's going to be. Okay. You ready for it? I don't know if you're ready. I don't even know. If... So we can hear it, but we can't see it. So now we are into another boosh.com here. Are you not plugged in here? Uh, There's supposed to be two in here. Yeah, I know, but that's... Yeah, you're right. It could be the wrong one that we plugged in there. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just go right past that then. So we, oh, actually, this is very important because you need that to yeah, plug in. Okay, I'll just keep talking. You keep talking there, stud. So Ad's going to do some, we should have just went at 6.15, but <laughs> uh, I'll talk some WrestleMania while you get this figured out. Anyone that's a, a kid that grew up in the 90s, if you caught WrestleMania on Sunday night, I unfortunately get, didn't get to watch it, but I watched the highlights of all the run-ins in The Undertaker choke slamming The Rock. That might have been one of the coolest things I've seen as an adult for something that I probably shouldn't have found cool. It was so awesome. I had such a good time watching those highlights of The Undertaker and The Rock. I felt like I was I felt like I was 12 again and it was, it was amazing. So we're just getting some technical difficulties sorted out here. And then we're going to jump into that Cowboys news 2 weeks from the NFL draft. You know what it was is because you never use that secondary screen. I was like, "Oh, I won't put it up. I won't plug it in for him today." And it just boosted me out of here. Gotcha. Not only didn't we have we didn't have sound, we didn't have a screen. Good thing I had a video started right off the hop here. So, fell. There we go. <laughs> now we're boosted up. All right, we're winning. That's why we have Adam in the. That's why he's piloting this ship because he can get stuff rolling it's, fast. Uh, we don't call it the Millennium Falcon for anything. It's like as we're flying it, I'm fixing everything as we go. We want to go through light speed or hyperdrive. You got it. Okay, well, now we can play this video. Uh, and I'm blaming this on the solar eclipse, to be honest. Yeah, TBH. TBH. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, I'm good. I was ready a minute ago. Is it just a solar eclipse for you? <laughs> it's got to be. Oh, and they turn the lights on. Oh, that's cool. It's the end of days. Oh, they did a time lapse for it. Oh, okay, there 
Okay. Ha- is, is that is that uh, Howdy doing it? <laughs> howdy doody, Rowdy. You mean Rowdy? <laughs> uh, thoughts on that? The solar eclipse video. Well, at least it wasn't some sort of like Cowboys contract dispute that they posted. So it's nice to just see a random kind of cool video like I've that. I've kind of felt like that's just kind of how the off season has been very dramatic and something crazy that you know hasn't happened in the last few years. That I don't know. I got a little emotional watching that. Are you crying or am I, I crying? Crying a little bit, but that was that was pretty sweet. Don't know why they really posted it. I thought there was going to be like it players it, or something. It's a this type of eclipse hasn't happened for a long time, so it was a special eclipse. I thought they, I saw the guy who handles their video department, their social media video department. He posted it on Instagram, something similar to that. So I'm just, they probably did it because it was an event thing and it was, they had it. And hey, guess what? We're talking about it. I got to give a shout out to our guy, Dave Stur- Sturcio here. I thought this was pretty funny. I seen him tweet and I had to just make a little post out of it. I've watched Dallas Cowboys football for the last 30 years without a Super Bowl, the solar eclipse will not do any more damage to my eyes than they already have done. I mean, I thought that was pretty funny. That's hilarious. I thought that was pretty funny, and you can't take yourself too seriously, right? You got to be able to laugh at it. And Fucking kill me. The, Just fucking kill me. The offseason's kind of felt like that, and we got some more bad news Okay. right now in the offseason. We have a new take, and it feels like every every day or two before we're planning on going live, there's a new headline about one of our star players. I know. This is actually the whole video today is centered around this topic yeah and agents take why cd lamb negotiations could haunt jerry jones after cowboys owner gave in to zach martin so the big the big uh, headline behind this is there's reports that cd lamb's planning on holding out he's already said he's not going to make it to the early season uh activities and well, this kind of feels a little bit like last season. Who held out? Zach Martin. Yep. Who got paid? Zach Martin. Zach Martin. So the, all they're saying is CD Lambs already has the blueprint to essentially hold out and get exactly what he wants. And we actually talked about this a couple weeks ago. And I basically said if CD Lamb decides to hold out, the Cowboys can't do anything other than pay him. They have no option. They're, if they get rid of them, they're not going to get rid of them. There's just they're no, not going to get rid of them. There's no chance they get rid of CD Lamb. So, what what can the Cowboys do? Nothing. Pay them. That's it. That's all they can do. All, and, all you're doing is, I mean, and maybe they do it to keep the Cowboys, uh, the Cowboys, uh, name in the news. Maybe they're doing this to set a precedence. But when you end up, when you end up just caving and paying for them anywhere, like you might as well just get it taken care of to begin with and tell their players. We're going to take care of you anyways, which they do. So I, I, I don't always understand why this happens when they're going to end up caving and paying for them anyways. Oh, they're going to cave and pay because last year... Cave and pay, baby. Cave and pay. Contract negotiation drama's way of the life for the Dallas Cowboys. The latest potential drama involves CeeDee Lamb, who is scheduled to play under a fully guaranteed $17 million, or which is his fifth-year option. According to Dallas Morning News, Michael Gelkin, shout out, MG... Lamb isn't expected to attend the start of the voluntary portion of the Cowboys offseason workout program, which begins April 15th, which, as we know, is pretty much, what, fucking five days? Next next, next week. And could hold out of training camp without a new contract. When asked general questions about his future by TMZ at a sports memorabilia show in Chantilly, Virginia on Monday, right after this report, Lamb said, yeah, I'll be in Dallas. Whether Lamb will skip voluntary workouts, the mandatory mini camp to be held June 4th to 6th, and or the start of training camp weren't specifically addressed in the brief interview. So what do you think? How far do you think CeeDee Lamb takes this, Jam? I mean, at this, at this point, do you are you worried? About, it's like the Zach Martin thing. Is it CeeDee Lamb's going to be training anyways? He's a professional. He wants to make sure he's going to be covering himself. So whether or not he's at these uh, OTAs or mandatory camps or wherever he decides to sit out, I'm not worried about CD Lamb coming in out of shape or not working out. He's obvi- he's going to be he's going to be working out during this time anyways. He just might not be with the Dallas Cowboys uh, team. Uh, I'm not worried about. It. I just think it just sucks to continue. No, but I mean, power. how worried are you? Like, how far do you think he lets it go? I think you have to. I don't think you ever want to have a guy hold out a training camp. Zach Martin was a different thing, right? He had 10 years of getting beat up on an offensive line. CD Lamb's in his fifth year. I was meaning, yeah, OTAs and the the, the June sessions. When I'm t- when when they start to rock into uh, the actual training camp, 
Like okay, so that's what I mean. If this is still a story that C.D. Lamb's planning uh, on holding be, out then in then August, then it'll be a concern. Like I get it, he's working out and he's all, he's been working out his yeah. whole life. But are you worried that if comes come August seventeenth or whatever the hell training camp date is in Oxnard, California, like if we go down to Oxnard and C.D. Lamb's not there, yeah, is at that the not start of make August? I'll be worried. Absolutely, I'll be super worried if C.D. Lamb isn't there. So then the article goes I on. I still won't doubt the fact that he's gonna. He'll still sign. They'll still sign him. It just but why? Even, of, but if you're going to sign the dude, why wait till training camp? I, exactly. Why wait even? Wait, why wait even till June? Why even wait till the draft? Like, yeah, get it sorted out now. What's the end game for the Cowboys here? Like, I'm asking you. What's the end game? What do you think the end game for the Cowboys is? What are they trying to benefit from not paying him right now? Um, I don't have an answer to that, but they have a the, in the in the thing there was talking about an agent, and they were going to give some some thoughts around. No, no, it all the agent said was that they have a blueprint, basically that CD Lamb's oh, going right. to get paid. Yeah, exactly. So there, there's no there's no benefit to the Dallas Cowboys for for holding out this way. No, and the the issue with it, they might be waiting to see what the Vikings are doing with Jefferson, with Justin Jefferson, which is also stupid. Just pay CD before Justin Jefferson like, gets paid. Justin Jefferson and CD Lamb. They want one of them to sign first. Why? Because then the other one's going to go for more money. Exactly. Cowboys, you're taking a massive risk if Justin Jefferson, if CD Lamb's going to, uh, if if CD Lamb, if you're able to get CD Lamb ten million dollars cheaper than what Justin Jefferson's going to sign for because you're you're shoring the deal up beforehand, then then great. And maybe is they it should have signed CD last year? Yeah. When think, they signed Trevon Diggs, they should have also signed C.D. Lamb. Here's my question to you. Do you think it's it's not the Cowboys side? It's C.D. Lamb who's wanting to wait to see what happens with Jefferson? Of course it is. So then then the Cowboys gave them a gave him a term. He's like, I am going to wait. I want to wait. I mean, they the would have they would have they would have lowballed the shit out of him anyways. They would have gave him such a lowball offer. We were having this conversation at this exact same time last year saying if C.D. Lamb had a balling ass season, they're going to have to pay him huge going. Actually, we I think we talked about thinking that CeeDee Lamb was already going to be extended. Yep. And then we knew yeah, Trevon. Yeah, we talked to because it was before the draft. We knew Trevon Diggs was going to get extended. And yep. then we're like, well, you should just get CeeDee Lamb done too. And they just never did it. And now they're kind of getting them into a situation with Ezekiel. Same similar with Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott's 39-day holdout in 2019 when he had two years remaining on his rookie contract led him to become the NFL's highest paid running back. Elliott received a six-year, $90 million contract extension, averaging $15 million per year. New standards for running backs of $50 million overall guaranteed and $28 million fully guaranteed at signing were also established with the deal. So, yeah. like, that deal is actually, that Ezekiel Elliott deal is still having fallout. Teams are so scared to sign running backs because of that deal. And it looks like the Cowboys are scared to sign anyone because of that deal. <laughs> and yeah. it's just... It sucks because at the end of the day, they have no chance other than to pay CD Lamb. Yeah, you have to pay him. You're not going to trade him. Like, there's no way you're trading him. The only way I see them trading him is if they're fully on board with just re burning it all down and rebuilding. That's it. You're not. It would be. It would be the the dumbest. I think that would be a very very dumb move for them. Like if they're gonna not if they're gonna let Dak walk because Dak's not their quarterback, and then rebuild off the quarterback, you still why would you why would you let your wide receiver go though? You can't. You're not gonna go scratch. Like we'll get get another get another wide out in the draft, which you want. You have Brandon Cooks. Like if you when you look at the offense, the offense this year they're still a pretty like they're still a pretty. I know week to week we always get back into we're worried about Dallas by not addressing some things, but I still feel fairly confident in our offensive te our offensive team, and I'm and I'm very hopeful that they they uh, lock in some of those depth positions. But yeah, I, I getting rid of the quarterback is one thing to rebuild. It doesn't make sense that you would let their quarterback and your wide receiver go and not and not keep at least CeeDee Lamb after the type of season he had. Well, it's funny here. They're talking about last season back to Zach Martin and Jerry Jones talking. Jones talking about Martin's contract last year before camp. He'll come to camp when he comes to camp. <laughs> There's no resolution. There are a lot of consequences if he doesn't. He's been at the top money all the way through, drafted high and got a lot of money, got a lot of money over the years. It's just hard to get it all. The bottom line is nothing needs to happen. And then they ended up paying him. 
Yeah. So why even go through that shit? Just pay him before sound, camp. Sound, sounding like a bumbler. Yeah, just pay him before camp. Yeah. That's so, it. Sounding like a bumbler. That's all you got to do. And the unfortunately, they, the, the article goes into potential Lamb negotiation sticking points. Lamb yeah. wanting to become the NFL's highest paid wide receiver would be justified. We don't need to dive into the stats. We all know that he balled out. As far as Lamb is concerned, Tyreek Hill is the league's highest paid wide receiver. On paper, Hill became the NFL's first $30 million per year non-quarterback. And CD is going to be looking for similar money. So just give it to him. Yeah, the extension has $72 million is what he's talking about there? Yeah, it's just that, again, you got Cooper Cup made lots. Devontae Adams made bank. Pay him the money, Jerry. There's no way around it. You draft these guys. You drafted CD Lamb at 17 to be a star in the NFL. He's proved he is a star in the NFL. You know what you have to do to stars? Pay them the money. You got to pay them, baby. So they shine brighter. Shine bright like a star. Shine bright like a star. And then, oh, shit. I don't know if we can have that video play there. But uh, Cowboys wide receiver CeeDee Lamb brushes off holdout rumors yeah, in this in next Dallas. article. And he just says, hey, man. I'll be in Dallas. I'll be in Dallas. There's actually more to that quote I saw. Let I me mean, go down a bit. Let's well, let's, let's take a look. It. Let's see, see a little bit. There's a little bit more to the quote. Let me see. Yeah, rela- what's he doing? Relaxing, chilling, working out, of course. Uh, Lamb enters his fifth year on his rookie contract, set to earn 17.99 milli. He's in line for a massive contract extension. Okay, keep going down. Yeah, there, there was another. Maybe they didn't have here. Oh, winning. Win- I'm okay. looking forward yeah, to winning. That one? Winning. I'm looking forward to winning. And being out there with my guys and making another run at this thing, yeah, I'll be in Dallas. So the yeah, I'll be in Dallas and winning. It's like good. That's all. That's that to me is all I care about him saying. It's not you know these situations are tough when you're looking at this, but like I did well, so I need to get paid. He's just like I'm gonna be in Dallas. It's gonna get taken care of. I'm relaxing. I'm chilling. I'm working out. Perfect. This is a this is a story in June for us if the holdout is still around. Yeah, they're just waiting for draft. They're waiting for the draft. He's still under contract. Like he's on his fifth year deal and he is making 17 million this season. So realistically, but it's just part of the game. If you have an all-star player that you drafted in the first round who has played unreal and actually gotten better every year, CD Lamb, first year decent, second year okay, third year fucking ball and fourth year all pro. Right? So that's the, he's he's played better every single season. And then if he has he a monster, if he has a monster season, now he wants that cheddar. If he has a monster season this year, well, he's not going to play the season on. He's not going to play the season without a, without a new contract. It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. CD Lamb will not take the the field. He will hold out. That's just like we just talked about. Dallas has zero leverage in, yep. in this situation. He'll hold out. He'll get fined. And the fines. I yeah. like how we talked about this a couple years ago, too. <laughs> Players can't hold out in the new CBA. Well, Zach Martin did last year. And he paid for it. And guess what? He probably even got that money kicked back to him. Well, think of his CD Lamb holds out, and he becomes a $30 million a year season wide receiver no, with more than that, $100 million guaranteed, or whatever the hell it ends up being, is, is $2 million It'll be, yeah, exactly. To, It'll, to, to play for sure. The what? way he's looking at it is like if I hold out, to 32 million i still get a million more than what uh tyree kill got <laughs> and he has to pay a million bucks in fines yeah no big deal when it comes to training camp in july if a deal isn't struck lamb could still stage a hold in a play becoming more popular with top tier stars that avoids potential fines but also curtails possible injury while sides negotiate both lamb and the cowboys have consistently said they want to remain married for the long haul now they have to figure out the dollars what and does cents. hold in mean it's when they, they're pretty much there, but they're not actually playing. Right. Which could be a good idea. Look at this. Arrest warrant issued for Chiefs Rasheed Rice in a connection with multi-car crash. Come on, Rasheed. You know better than that, my friend. So what do we got? Do we got anything with chat? Chat's bumping. Today. Yeah, bu- headlines. <laughs> it's a Wednesday night main event, you know? <laughs> oh, uh, Ultra Cowboy. There we CD go. won't hold out unless Jefferson signs. They're waiting for Justin Jefferson. See, well, welcome to the chat. We already talked about that, my friend, but you couldn't be more right there, Ultra. This guy, this is what he's looking at. He's sitting there waiting. This is how he's looking at Justin Jefferson. If I can ever get it over to him. <laughs> Let me see here real quick. If I could ever get it over there. Oh, here. I have a little boosh of that. That's some moose. What is this? That's moose steak. Moose steak? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's delish. That's wild game. That's Canadian moose right there. Mm -hmm. Did mm -hmm. we just did we just cement our can fan legacy right there? Oh yeah, we did. On air. Yeah, we did. Moose meat. Moose meat, baby. So yeah, ultra. We said that CD's uh, CD won't hold out unless Jefferson signs. Oh, he's waiting. That's the whole reason he's holding out. How you feel after the DAC playoff game? Question mark. Great. A what? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Oh, I think maybe he's talking about uh, CD Lamb. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, don't care. But that's what CD's looking at. Or this one. <laughs> he could be. No. He could be doing this one. Give me my money, Jerry. There we go. Let's get in on him. Nice teeth, man. Some nice teeth on him. That's him looking over. No, he's not looking at Jerry. That's him looking over at Justin saying, hey, man, we got these bitches pinned. <laughs> we got these bitches pinned down. And then just, Justin Jefferson's just grittying over to him saying, oh, yeah, we got this down pat. We ain't got no problem. It's it's work. It's going to work out for both of them. Um, Justin, um, Justin, another Justin in the chat, not Justin Jefferson, but Justin Krat, Kratka. I don't even know how to pronounce your last name. I apologize for that, Justin. But he says, what do you all think about Dallas getting rid of Dak? Stupid move or smart? This season is not happening. That Dak will that Dak 100% will be the quarterback for the Cowboys in 2024. Going forward, I'm actually starting to lean to the point that it's like, I feel like it's in the works. I feel like they're already steamrolling that, that story and that situation to happen. 2024, it's not happening. I thought he was going to be the quarterback in 2025. I thought they were going to rework uh, his deal. But right now, I don't know. It's going to tell us what the draft, ha what happens in the draft is going to tell us a lot. But just everyone needs to prepare for Dak Prescott to be the quarterback in 2024. Only way he isn't is if they start off 0-4 and, and they're like, well, now we should see what we have in Trey Lance. Yeah. But going into the 2024 season, Dak Prescott will be the quarterback. Yeah, and I and we've we've beaten this to death multiple times, uh, but I still do appreciate the comment. I mean, if Ultra is still in the chat, he'll have something different to say about is it a is it a smart move or a stupid move? He'll say it's a stupid move to keep Dak Prescott because he's booty. But at this point, what else are you going to get? Unless you're prepared to go a couple years as a losing team, if and that's a big if. Uh, they have somebody that that somebody that they're going to bring onto the team is still a big if. We went twelve and five for the last few seasons. What if the Cowboys finish twelve and five this season and we still get an early uh, exit out of the playoffs? Do you think everyone will still say get rid of Dak at the twelve and five, but we can't make it past that round? Oh yeah, that would be my more question to you. We do we go twelve and five, and this time we don't make it to the we don't make it we make it past the first uh, round. But we still get out out outed in the playoffs, and it's it's a tighter game. But we well, still when, lose. Though? When did they? I need to know the round for this for round me to two. Act. Round two. So divisional. Yeah, you have to move on from them. So you're. They that, haven't made it past the divisional round, and since they went, the Cowboys haven't made it past the divisional round. What, what's making it to the divisional round with twelve and five? Four twelve and five fucking. I was I was ready to burn it down after the <laughs> I know. twelve and five season this year. Yeah. I I thought bringing Mike McCarthy back was a, a big mistake. They could have at least brought in a new coach, and they could have asked what he thought about the offense, and if he thought they could they could string together wins with what they had, and then maybe they could have actually went all in and tried to do something instead of just sitting and getting worse. So yeah. I don't know. I think this season right now, and I, I'm I'm usually a pretty optimistic Cowboys fan. I'm pretty pessimistic going into the season, and I hope I'm wrong, but I'm just it's. I can't remember having a season feel this way going into it since like fuck man I can't even, I can't even remember this I have I just this is the least hope I've had going into a season in a long time. I'll leave I don't know, that. I don't know. Gus in the chat says howdy boys. We got Cowboy Red showing up saying greetings and salutations. Crack them if you got them. Well, That's what we like. Get it. Get it in you, son. Crack them if you got them. And son. then uh, Justin K says I've been hearing about them drafting a QB. Within round three, I I'm I'm totally I'm totally fine with him drafting a QB. Well, we're gonna talk about that somewhere in the draft, and we'll absolutely be talking about that. But we will definitely be getting into that action. Even with or without Dak, I think we we should always be we should always be moving down that route. Definitely, and then you don't have to if you draft a quarterback in the fourth or fifth round, fourth to seventh round every couple of years, you don't end up with Cooper Rush as your backup. And no no knock on Cooper Rush when he's got the chance, he's been good. But I don't see an issue with using a fourth round to seventh round pick 
to get some a quarterback every once in a while if you like some some things. And there's a guy in the draft later in the draft, Joe Milton. I know that the third. There's no reason that you shouldn't take him if you have a chance. Like realistically, if he's there in the fifth, there's no no reason not to stack stack it stack and stash those quarterbacks so that you have trade capital capital trade trade capital. 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 Um, you have uh, solid backups, and then you even have somebody that if you decide to move on with Dak Prescott, you're you're shepherding them into the the proper the proper way to do it. S- similar to what we've seen Green Bay do in, in in previous years. Yeah, but they've used a first they've used first overall picks, right? Like they haven't picked up a quarterback in the fourth round. They had right. They're they they're, had, they're actively grabbing that quarterback so, to bench and secure. So for the Cowboys to do that, they're drafting a quarterback in the first round. Like they got Green Bay took Aaron Rodgers late in the fo- first round, then they took Jordan Love late in the first round. What is what would you do if the Cowboys did draft a quarterback in the first round? I would just be like, okay, it's it's settled. They're moving on from back next year. Yep. It, it honestly, it, it would kind of give me some closure to the season. And it, would, it would make sense. The off season would make sense. Off season would make sense. I still wouldn't be like start this guy and start this guy, start no, this guy, no, start I, this guy. I, I think you could even keep Dak for the ne- at least for this year. Yep. But if they did, if the Cowboys did draft a quarterback at twenty four, like say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> say someone falls to them, one of the top five. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Realistically, you're looking at Penix and uh, what's the other guy's name? There's Penix and there's another dude that's JJ McCartney's not going to no, go away he, anymore. No, McCarthy will be gone in the top ten, is my guess. There's Penix and Te- then there's Te- Teglavolia, bro. No, he, he's like a seventh I know, rounder. I, know. I can't think of the dude's name because we yeah. haven't really looked at quarterbacks. But there's two guys. There's Penix and then someone in chat will tell me yeah. who the other J- guy. Just is. in case, as I heard, it was Michael Penix if he falls to eighty seven. Yeah, Penix and then Bo. Bo Nix. Bo Nix. Yeah. Those are the two guys that Bo Nix possibly. From Oregon. Yeah, those are the two guys that maybe could be at 24 but again i wouldn't be happy about them taking those guys per se right i would be happier with like a joe milton who's got a lot of intangibles yep and has a chance to maybe be a stud in a couple years so i'd rather that than wasting a pick and on uh a bow Bo Nix. Nix or a michael Penix. Nix and Penix. Nix and Penix. and Penix just looks too much like penis <laughs> Although you could make some good shirts, suck suck this Penix. Yeah, suck this Penix, baby. Or like flat- Michael Penix Jr. There ain't no Junior about this Penix. Yeah, so you could have some good stuff. But it the w- Cowboys have had like a pretty rough season with their three All Stars. So there's not only one. Usually every year that you're gonna have somebody in a contract mess. Yep. But they have three, and it's three of their biggest players: Dak Prescott, their quarterback, the leader of your team. CD Lamb, your best offensive player during the regular season, and then Micah Parsons, your best player on the defense in the regular season. Those are your three best players on the team, and all three of them are in some sort of contract mess. You know, this is what, and we saw, uh, and just I have to say this so I don't forget, big Penix energy from Cowboy Reg. That's funny. That's a good one. That yeah, would that's be a good. shirt. That's big, a good shirt. Who's got some big Penix energy? And Bot G says, crack him if you got him. Crack him if you got him. Boots, em. welcome back. Bot welcome, G's dude. in the hizzy. Um, when you look at the the top, when you look at our top guys and you have all of this stuff and you hear somebody like Des Bryant say, they did the same thing to me during contract negotiation. They did the same thing to me during this time. This is what they do. But then you still have like Des Bryant be such an evangelist for the Cowboys. Where does that kind of line up for you where it's like, well, the guy still made a, m- a boatload of a cash. boatload of money and they ended up paying him. Yeah. That's the thing. They did end up paying him. He's has a great Des Bryant has a great relationship with Jerry Jones, right? It's not like they en- didn't end up paying him, but he still had to go through the bullshit. And it's kind of that conspiracy thing that we talked with Mike Poland. Shout out Mike Poland, blogging the boys, writer and podcaster. But uh, it's kind of what Mike said. It's kind of this conspiracy that every time one of these players is up for a contract extension, you start getting these rumors about trades or rumors about them being a nuisance in the locker room. Crack me if you got them, son. So you hear that stuff, and realistically, we're not behind closed doors. We don't know the tactics. We don't know if it's a conspiracy theory or if these guys do wear thin. But at the end of the day, they all get paid. Do you think, Dak, out of these three guys, I'm going to ask you a quick question here. Okay, question me up. And this is to you too, chat. 
guys to everybody. Thanks, chat. Thanks for coming by. By the way, nice Love Wednesday night guys main up event. In, yeah, Wednesday night main event. And and we will be running a. Uh, we have some pretty solid stipulations for our seven round mock draft. Yeah, today. we got a mock coming up today. So we got some some pretty interesting categories for spin that wheel. Well, just it's funny because I don't think personally any of these guys will get traded or get you know not be on the team next season. But if you had to pick one to go between Dak Prescott, CD Lamb, and Micah Parsons, who would you pick to leave? Like, who would you get rid of if you had to? I'm not saying, because when I clip this, I'm going to add this. I'm not saying any of them are leaving. I'm not saying we want any of them to leave. But if we had to choose between the big three, the one, the best on offense, the best on defense, and then the, the quarterback, who would you go with that? Who would you, who would you kick to the curb, to, per se? <sighs> Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, or Micah Parsons? You got to get rid of one. Uh, you got to cut him. I would I would cut Dak Prescott. I think that's the no-brainer answer. Yeah. It's got to be. The the CeeDee Lamb, Micah Parsons, there's too much of an upside to them in terms of their career and where they're at. Um, and I'm not saying that, like, it's easy to replace a, a quarterback, but based on like what we were just talking about earlier on and only getting to a certain area with your your team and your quarterback 12 and 5 you know three seasons we don't know right now if it's is it a Mike McCarthy thing is it a Dak Prescott thing what is it you know we have eight you have eight seasons of Dak Prescott not getting you know not finishing um we only have three seasons of Micah Parsons kind of uh on tape and 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 CD Lamb as well so um yeah, Dak Prescott. I'm agreeing with you. And uh, the other two, you'd trade, I, I, I think, all three of them, if you could trade any of them, you'd get a boatload of picks. There's lots of teams that would take Dak Prescott. There's lots of teams that would fucking die for CeeDee Lamb. And then I guess it should be, Parsons. do you cut? Like, I mean. It'd be it, trade. It would be trade. Like, It'd be you, trade. The the problem with uh, the Dak and the no, the no trade clause, uh, you, you'd have to find a team that would be willing to, to boosh it up for him. But and he'd have to agree with it. Um, he'd want to go somewhere where he's gonna have a chance to compete right off the hop. Like you're not trading with the no trade. All the no trade clause does prevents the Cowboys trading him to someone a team that sucks. Yeah. It, it essentially gives him a pick to where he gets to go. Yeah, Bocce says Dak for sure only to win a Super Bowl with the Steelers the following year. So much hate. Do you imagine that? That's that's what that's the reality. That's what that probably is what would happen. Now, we thought that, like, okay, yeah, you cut Zeke, and now Zeke's going to go to a team, and he'll win a nah, Super Bowl. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, but not be like a – we never – none of us realistically thought Zeke was going to go to a team and run for 1,800 yards and, and 25 touchdowns. Yeah. Dak Prescott still has a chance to go to a team and be the reason that team pushes towards 100%. the Super Bowl. Yep. There's a there's a bit of a difference. Yep. And, like, Micah Parsons, same, similar thing. Like, that. so, ty- just to for team – players that left and went on to win a Super Bowl, all I can think of off, like, top of my mind that the Cowboys drafted had great seasons with the Cowboys and went to a different team, won the Super Bowl, like a DeMarcus Ware, right? Yep. And it sucked to see DeMarcus Ware do that, but it, I think it'd be way worse to watch a quarterback totally. that, that you watch struggle through his postseason appearances to then go to the next team and and essentially win a Super Bowl. There's, there's been a couple quarterbacks that have done that. You know, like went to different teams. Went to different teams, and then they they win the Super Bowl. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning's one of them. Uh, um, let's see if we could name any. Who are some? T- who are some? Who are some quarterbacks that left their original team and then went on to win a Super Bowl with the team they signed with? I'm going to try. You to thought th- you thought that Favreau was going to be it. He came close a couple times yeah. with the Vikings. He came close a few times. It's actually I don't think it's that common. I don't think it's happened that that often. And I'm talking like. Starting quarterback who was a stud. Oh yeah, Matthew Stafford. Yep. yep, that's that's probably the only other one that I could think of. To yep. be honest, that was that's a that's a well Tom Tom Brady, but Tom Brady had Super Bowl, so you can't really count him. Yeah, he's he had six. I, I six was going to say that was to, Tom Tom Brady uh, solved that riddle of is it Brady or Belichick. Oh, yeah. Who needs who needs who? Tom Brady goes to a different team and he's able to win a Super Bowl. Mike Belichick gets fired. <laughs> Belichick gets fired. Sorry, uh, they both agreed to yeah, ha- go on ways. different terms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Matt Stafford's the other the other guy. Goff Goff, maybe. Maybe Goff can get it with Detroit. I don't know. Uh hasn't happened yet, though. Hasn't happened yet. 
there's very few te- there's very few players that have done it. And then like Peyton Manning, he did it with two teams, which is crazy. But it's not easy to do. So I mean, that's why it would even hurt more if Dak left. Yeah, and went on to win the Super Bowl. It'd just be a, a nightmare. Not not to go too deep into it, but Justin K in the chat uh, says, "Do you believe that Michael Par- Michael Parsons?" Uh, sorry, I like I am like Ron Burgundy. I read it whatever's in front of me. Do you believe Micah Parsons' temper is wearing thin within the organization? No. We talked a little bit about it. We talked a little bit about it on uh, Sunday's show. I'm all about the conspiracy side of it. I think yeah. it's this thing that hops up every time. I mean, uh, we've talked about it as a, as a as a couple dudes, you know, just in a stew. A couple dudes in Cra- a stew. Cracking them when we got them. We were talking about how we thought him having the podcast and doing all this, like, the basketball thing was kind of annoying. But at the end of the day, it's like, who really gives a shit as long as he's doing what he's doing? I don't think the Dallas Cowboys are that upset about it. You drafted a dude, you know, 12th overall, and he's lived up to that spot. So I can't see Micah Parsons not being with the Dallas Cowboys for at least another contract. CeeDee Lamb, same thing. We discussed that earlier. CeeDee Lamb is essentially going to become one of the top paid players that isn't a quarterback. And then this is, I think this is still the biggest guy, the biggest contract question marks that we have are with this guy right here, Dakota Rain Prescott. This is going to be interesting. And the draft is going to tell you a lot with what they're planning on doing. CeeDee Lamb, Micah Parsons, they're going to be here for another contract. Dak Prescott, we don't know. You kind of sounded like a, you were reading something there for a second. I thought you were like a little bit of a robot. I came in and you're like, da-da-da-da-da. I thought you were reading something. Cowboys nice. have a contract mess with Dak <laughs> Prescott, C.D. Lamb, Micah Parsons. Sorry, I had to get rid of that plate that was sitting here. Oh, oh is that why had, Murphy we had, just... We had some moose. Uh, did I say elk? It was moose. It was moose steak. No, you said moose. Yeah. Remember we said Canadian moose. Canadian moose. Okay, so uh, this, is, this is a good one. Oh, I thought this was... Um, just read the headline. <laughs> oh, I thought this was uh, ooh, Adam uh, Schefter yeah, says. Yeah, ooh, uh, ooh, by Timothy Rapp. Okay, so uh, Adam Schefter, Cowboys a sleeper in NFL draft, QB market amid Dak Prescott contract talks by Timothy Rapp from X. What do you think sleeper means? Like that they're going to take a quarterback in the draft? Like, yeah. What the? Who gives a shit? Yeah. I think that depends. If is are they taking a quarterback early or late? Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Well, go down. What does it say? What, anything else? Oh, I'm asking. I want to ask you about it before oh, we just read some other dipshits. <laughs> before opinion? We, before we read Tim, Tim Rapp's opinion, I want to know our opinion about it. Like, what's that mean? What is con- what's considered a sleeper in the NFL draft? Okay, so so a quarterback th- in the sixth fucking round is that a, is that a sleeper? Well, that's, that's a sleeper in the NFL draft QB market amid Dak Prescott contract talks. So it it would probably be for like it's a it's a bullshit headline. It's a clickbait, and it got well, us. So, and this is where it this is got us. this is where I saw someone else, uh, uh, Brian uh, Broadus contacted Schefter, and Schefter was like, "No, this is just my opinion. Everyone took it and is running with it like it's a headline." I didn't have, I don't have I a source hate- or anything. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm doing it. I'm- Do it. Boo shit. Okay, so Bri- you said Brian brought us. Oops. Yeah. I so fat finger this. Brian Brody. brought us Adam Schefter. Oh, we call him Shefty. Shefty. Schefter. Do you now? Here's the other question: If you if you had to see two of them fight, who would you take? Oh, Brian Ian, brought us for sure. No, 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 no. Ian Rappaport or Adam Schefter? Well, they're not the same person. No, I know they're not. But <laughs> am I going with Brian brought us? No, no, no. Brian brought us has nothing to do with it. You have to. You, you, it's a fight between Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter. Who who you? But why did you bring up Ian? Well, because whenever you hear Ian Rappaport oh, yeah. or Adam Schefter, they're kind of like the same. They're, they're, they're such the dorks. They're the well, now dudes. we got to get a look at them. Okay, so Ian. <laughs> The rap sheet rap report. Yeah. So in ro- in quarter one, you have I I'm, I'm pro- probably going with the dorky Tony Romo. He looks like a dorky Tony Romo. Yeah, or he looks like a T Romo. There's got to be a picture of them together. There, there just has to be. And then Shefty. Then we can decide. Yeah. Okay. This. Yeah, oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, so it's it was this is like a thing. This then. is a thing. Who are we taking between Rappaport and Adam Schefter? Is there a draft? But I almost need height and size. Yeah. What are you going with? I'm. I think I'm leaning towards rap. I'm going with rap report too. Although I feel like Schefter would like Schefter. Schefter would grab your balls in a fight and twist them. He would. He would fight dirty. He would sand. Throw sand in okay, your the, eyes. Okay. The question is, he is would wh- fish okay. hook. 
Okay, the question is, is if you didn't have the name there, which one, do you know who's who? Yeah, Ian Rappaport's Dorky Romo. Yeah, yeah. You got Dorky Romo, which is I, Ian I, Rappaport, and then Adam Schefter, the OG NFL Network yeah. when it first came out. Plus, so Rappaport's younger, so I think I'm going to go Rappaport. Okay. Although it's a fight that, I mean, I would uh, I would watch. I'd probably get it on pay-per-view. Like, yeah. literally that that type of fight? Let's hear in the chat. Who do you got? Who do you got? So what were we talking about here? We had <laughs> Schefter, Cowboys, a sleeper in the NFL draft, and then you talked about that Schefter had said that it actually wasn't. He didn't hear that. Ooh, ooh. Ba- just Bocci said says Schefter wins, but brought us with both our asses at oh, the yeah, same bro- time. Bro- I agree. I agree. I agree. Broadus takes Broadus beats both of them, especially Broadus talks like this. He's got a really deep, deep voice, and he's got he's got this like thing going on. Bocce says, "Don't sleep on the old man strength." Oh yeah, that's why he's going for Schefter. You went with rap. Just because he looks rap. like that's just because you have a a, a a bony for uh Tony Romy. A bony for Romy. <laughs> a bony for Romy. Uh, but you said this oh, so add, you said this Schefter. Yeah, so Brian Cowboys Bro- a sleeper in NFL draft quarterback market amid Dak Prescott contract ta- talks. Yeah. That's just his opinion. That's just his opinion. So Broadus re- reached out to him to find out about this. Okay. So Schefter said what are they going to do at quarterback if they lose Dak? That's interesting, and that's why I think the Cal- – okay, even says it here. Yeah. And that's why I think the Cowboys might be a sleeper team in the quarterback market during the draft. But what's that mean? Like, what makes you a sleeper? Does that mean taking because, a quarterback okay. in the fifth round, ra- like, at okay, any well, spot? Okay, well, here he goes. Uh, Adam Schefter said during Tuesday's episode of NFL Live, the 722 mark, because at some point in time they might have to draft a quarterback higher than you think – because Dak is going into the last year of the contract, and it might be time to get someone in there to start grooming him. Like you can't say group. <laughs> NFL is still the only place. You, <laughs> NFL reporters are still the only people that are allowed to use the group, but, uh, the term grooming. And but like the clickbait title, because at some point, listen to this. Because at some point in time, yeah, no shit, they might have to draft a quarterback, possibly Duh. higher than you think, because yeah. Dak is going into his last year of a contract. So I think this is the sleeper pick right here, <laughs> higher than you think. Yeah, and so it sounds like he's higher so than we think. R- r- eighty-seven Penix Junior. Do you think that would be too high? No, I think that'd be good. If but, he fell but, to the third, I think if they drafted him in the first, I'd be. Pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so a third-round quarterback pick. You don't think that's too high based on all the other needs? Uh, we've ne- we've no, never. We've, I wouldn't think that's too high because I'd be like, okay, they're essentially moving on from Dak Prescott. They're they're gonna see who's better between their third-round pick, whoever it ends up being, and Trey Lance. If they take a quarterback in the first to third rounds, that to me essentially says Dak Prescott's done next year as a Cowboys quarterback. Totally, but I'm asking like so when you when we go back up to the clickbaity title, go back up there for a oh, second. Yeah, let's get up there. Let's do shit up. Get that Chang song. Uh sleeper in the NFL draft QB market. So a th- third round would be a sleeper pick for them? I don't think it's the I don't think I think sleeper just means as a team. Like a team that you don't right. think is going to draft it. Right, I don't right, think. Right. I don't think yeah, it matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't sorry. think they mean sorry. round or anything. Right. It's essentially just the Cowboys. Like they sorry. Don't seem sorry. Like- what I was saying is like, outside of it being, if they draft a QB in round six or seven, that's not really a sleeper to. That's well, not and that's QB, what I'm asking. That's not a QB market pick. And it's such as yeah. That's what. That's kind of what that, I was. That's getting not at. a QB. So yeah. So uh, I guess my question is, in order for them to be a sleeper in the NFL draft QB market, one to four. One to four. Okay. I think one to four because that's a spot where you can still find a, a serviceable quarterback. Whereas like picks fifth is five to seven or rounds five to seven. It's kind of like, let's just hope. Hey, tell, tell that, tell that to the San Francisco. I know, but exactly. Exactly. Tell, tell and, that, tell that to Tom Brady and the, the craziest round thing, six, Tom Brady. Well, and the craziest thing about the San Francisco of them taking Brock Purdy, they had fucking uh dipshit Italian there. What's his name? Nate's Nate's uh, <laughs> Nate's kryptonite uh, Garoppolo <laughs> Garoppolo yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo yeah. and then they had the backup too, Sam Darnold Sam Darnold yeah so them taking a quarterback in the sixth round or seventh round and Trey Lance at the same time too yeah and Trey Lance so they had Garoppolo did they have Garoppolo oh, Darnold? maybe they didn't have Darnold yet maybe they didn't have maybe Darnold, Darnold wasn't Darnold wasn't sorry but sorry. they had Garoppolo, they had Garoppolo Trey Lance, and Trey Lance and then, yeah Garoppolo Trey Lance and, and Trey Lance they had taken in the first round like they had traded a bunch of shit. So taking Brock Purdy's crazy, and that's why I don't mind taking a quarterback rounds five to seven. Yeah, if you think you have a chance with them. Yep. Uh, Cowboy Red says Jerry bought Trey Lance in, brought Trey Lance in for a reason. I, and if they take a quarterback this year, 
the Cowboys in the top three picks, because obviously we don't have a fourth unless they decide to trade up to get someone, that basically signals to me that Dak Prescott's not the quarterback next year. They're going to see who's better, Trey Lance or the dude that they yep. drafted. Yep. Oh, it's crazy we're talking about this. Three 12 and 5 season with Dak Prescott early. All he had to do was make one NFC championship game. Dak Prescott just had to make one fucking NFC championship game. <laughs> he could have not won a playoff game for the rest of his career. And he would playoffs. be in da- playoffs. He'd be in Dallas for the rest of his life. This is what we got to do here. Uh, I don't know. You got to do something. You have to do something. You got to do something out there. And it, it's, just, it's sad because he's got the talent. He just, there he is right there. He just doesn't have the, let's boost it in. Boost it in on him. Uh, he's kind of looking at you. That's how he's watching us talk. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are these guys he's talking like, about? He's like, Cowboy Camp fans really talking about that? So Cowboy Reg says, we have a massively expensive QB room. Dak, Cooper, Trey, all getting paid. I can't see fourth QB added to that. Shifty just getting clicks. So, or Shefty just getting clicks. <laughs> Sh- I, like, I, I hope they call him Shifty. Shifty. Shifty Shefty? I no, it wasn't they... even Shefter. It was, it was Rappaport. No, it was, Sh- it was Shefter. It was Shefter. Was it Shefter? It no, was no, Shefter. it was Rappaport. No, it was Shefter. Oh, Shefter. Fuck. Bro. Oh, hey. Bro. 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 Okay, let's see here. Are you doing some producing right now? Well, I want to see I want to see quarterbacks. You got to boost it in, though. Well, I'm, I'm going to just, I'm just live. I'm live. Do, li- I'm doing it live. You're doing quarterback it live. Quarterback salary, quarterback rooms. Most expensive quarterback rooms. That should get it. Oh, yeah. Expensive. This is where QB this is where us building out a can fan AI uh, bot agent to go through this type of stuff would be very accurate. Look at that. He's not wrong. Okay. That's why the chat knows what's up. The Dallas Cowboys are second in the NFL <sighs> for most allotted money towards <laughs> cap dollars. And so the Cleveland Browns are ahead of them. And that's for one fucking quarterback. Well, and the, the Cleveland Browns are ahead of them, but they have four play four quarterbacks, so their average is 16. The Dallas Cowboys with three, and that takes up twenty four point four three percent of then, the Dallas Cowboys cap room. And then we laugh about the Broncos, but that that Bron- we laugh about the Broncos because of Russell Wilson, and we're laughing at the Broncos because one of that quarterbacks there, the the amount of that money, the the dollars, is from Russell Wilson. Yeah, and he's not even on the team. I know that's funny. That's go, go, shitty. Go go down. Well, no, I want to see. Let's guess. Go who do you thinks? Who do you think's the lowest? Uh, he thinks 32. Ooh, the Steelers. Oh, that's actually a really good guess. The Steelers are going to be down there. You got to. Th- I'm going to say Patriots. I'm going to say Patriots. You got Steelers. Let's see. The, the Bears. Bears. Oh, oh, add nice. You 30th. Look at the Niners. The 31. Nine, the nine nerds. The nine nerds are 31. Well, they got rid of Trey Lance. Fuck, they they that's got they don't crazy. have Jimmy Garoppolo and they have their their fucking purdy on a QB. Well, but even getting rid of Trey Lance, they would have ate a bit of that, but he was still on his rookie deal. Totally. New England 26. So Chicago, the Chicago Bears. Oh man, when you who are about to get Caleb Williams with the first okay, overall pick okay. in two weeks. The NFL draft is in two weeks. Can fan will be rocking that all three days. We'll be running the whole time. Every single pick of the NFL draft, we will be rolling. We hope you guys come on by. It's going to be a blast. The Draftacular extravaganza. Make sure you come in and you uh, and like you and su- like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hit that like go, button. Go go to look at so look at so we have Green Bay Packers. They have a great QB uh, room for that price. Again, these are these these rookie deal though. What any any of these any of these guys. Minnesota is kind of surprising to me. They must. This must be because they dumped off some of Cousins. They, d- they dumped off some of Cousins? I think, no, they dumped off Cousins is, at the right time. But his cap, yeah. Actually, Ravens are a very surprising one, too. They're 10 at, at 34. That's not bad. That's pretty good. The fucking Cowboys, man. The Cowboys, what is number two. Like, the Giants, man. <laughs> the Giants and the Cardinals. Ooh, boosh. I mean, Kansas City, Kansas City at number seven, that's it not makes, a problem. And it's won them three <laughs> Super Bowls. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem. That makes there. sense. Look at the Falcons. The Falcons, yeah. Look at the Falcons there, right, right there. The Kirk Cousin. The Kirk Cousin's not even really affecting them that much. I don't even see it. The oh, it's 14. 14. Yeah, they're mid. They're like right mid range. The Eagles, they just fucking grease. They see they I hate I, I hate the Eagles. I hate everything they do. <laughs> I do. But they're 19th in quarterback spending because they and they have four on the on the roster. So they have six point seven two percent of their cap. Two quarterbacks, and the Cowboys are rolling, and that's on Jalen Hurts' second contract. So that's kind of annoying. Go how how what's the percentage for the Cowboys before we get twenty four? Oh my god, twenty four percent. 
The Dallas Cowboys over to the right here, 24.43. Look, look at it. And even the Cleveland Browns, they're not even, they're not, e they're even a lower percentage with more quarterbacks. It's crazy. The, the, I mean, the Cleveland Browns one's pretty ridiculous because it's the one quarterback that has, has really sucked that up. And that's the <laughs> old massage. Yeah. And, but that's the same scenario. Old for Uncle us. Touchy yeah. There. Look, so Cleveland Browns. Yeah. And, and, and this is where everyone's going to, this is where you, you uh, start to tend to when you're a DAC apologist, like I can be sometimes you tend to try to side with somebody else. Cleveland Browns, I would always say, oh, that's a shitty deal. You picked up Deshaun Watson, and you have you have that type of dollars. Denver Broncos, you got Russell Wilson. That's a shitty deal. And then uh, I'm not going to say much about the Rams. Can't say and anything about the Rams. The it won them a Super Bowl. The, the Giants, yeah, you're going to say that about the Giants with fucking what's his name, and you're going to say this thing, the same thing about the Cardinals. Daniel so Jones, you Daniel have Jones, da and Kyler Murray. The top five, the the, the top five, te four of the five teams. You're saying what are they you made bad deals with their quarterbacks. And Dallas is number two. Yeah. It's crazy. That's depressing. Jesus. Look at it when you see the cap allocation active roster. <laughs> no, don't do it. The quarterbacks. Look at this. You can just no, tell. I'm Dallas not, is right here. I'm a bigger bar graph guy at, than I'm a bigger it, bar well, graph. Yeah, because it actually makes your brain look at it. Look at San Fran over here. Would you look at it? And the average, the average is this black line. San Fran's well below yeah, it. They, that, and that we're mean, way above it. The, and, but that's the other thing, too, where you look at it and you're, and you're thinking, oh, man, San, San Fran – they need San Fran and Philadelphia. They got close to getting the Super Bowl the last two years, and they're well they're well below the line. Actually, is Phil, Philly's right at the average. Is Philly at the average? Philly's uh, they're under it, man. So they're under the average, and and San Francisco's there. Brock Brock Purdy is going to bump that up up when, a bit in in what two years? Yeah, but not by much. Like Philly's just signed Jalen Hurts. Dallas just did a stupid deal. So where you see, case you know what this shows you add when you see these got the, the teams on this half of the screen. Sorry, yeah. no one's going to see my hand doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Me doing this, this half of the Adam, screen. This half of the screen over here. But oh, I can't even do that. When you see these these teams on this under underside of the average, that's that much space that they get to spend on other players on that team. Right. That's that much. The cow, like the 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 San, the, the Niners, they were at six percent. Okay. Here, that's that's ninety four percent of their cap that they get to spend on other parts of their team. Outside of Kansas City, what teams have made it to the Super Bowl? With their current quarterback? Yeah. The, the Eagles. The Eagles, and then they're below. The Eagles did. Uh, San Fran. They, they're they're, they're well, well, they're below. well below. And even, even before, it's so now I wonder when they made it there, what Garoppolo. 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 What Garoppolo. He would have been, yeah, it was probably a little bit higher. Yeah. It was probably a little bit higher. Actually, sorry. Go go to that year. Oh, go, nice. Go, Good go call. To the year. So he, what year did they make the Super Bowl? They made it in twenty twenty two. Updated. Updated. Uh, it's it's KC at the top. Yes. San Fran right at the mid. Right at the mid. Don't okay. worry, Dallas is still top ten though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dallas is still top ten. So let's see twenty twenty three. Fuck it. Oh, okay. let's see. Actually, I want to see twenty twenty five. Don't do it. You got to boost it up. Don't do it. Okay, the Cowboys. Okay, so this is where some of the, when you go into 2025, some of these teams, like Dallas isn't even, Dallas is where here? Well, because they, Guelph, don't, have, they don't have the deal. Well, they still have Dak. They still have to pay Dak. That right, year. but yeah, but they haven't extended. But just one player. But yeah. one, okay, because it's just one player. It sucks. It's all bad. Yeah, get out of this. Let's just get out of this. This, hey, was, a bad, this was a bad <laughs> exercise. This was fun. That was, hey, that was fun. It was fun. Until it wasn't. It was fun <laughs> until we realized how stupid of a deal the Cowboys have made. What do we got? Not, Anything with chat going on? No, not just the Cowboys, though. You can see the other teams. You're, you're seeing a method here, right? Yep. So we... Well, except for KC. Right. KC, they've been... In the, the 2022, they were had the worst. Right. And they won the Super Bowl that year. Right. So sometimes, sometimes you, li you live you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Sometimes you live by the jockey, you die by the Did jockey. Did they win in 2022? No, I think the Rams won in 2022. Rams won in 2022. And then they won in 2023. Yeah, they won in 2023. I feel like you need to bring that back up and we have to look at that again. I got rid of it. You got rid of I it. Got, it's it's boosted into the universe. She's boosted out there. But that so so the Rams won it the year that they switched to, with Matt Stafford and they had that moment in time where it was like you you gotta win this year, you're you're and the two biggest ones on that quarterback thing were the Rams and the the 
the Chiefs. Yeah. So it still paid off for them. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't give a shit if, if the Cowboys made the Super Bowl this year yep. and still even lost. And no, I'm looking no, at it. I'm you, like, if, if the Cowboys made. I the, feel like we can't even say that. Do we have to retire Super Bowl? Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah we're possibly. Never, we're no. never retiring. That. We can't yeah. retire. That. Do, do I have to kick you off this show? I wouldn't. You're the one who brought it up. I, yeah, but you agreed. I tested you. You no. failed. You started <laughs> saying it. And then I just, as soon as you start saying it, it's like yeah, that it's, seance chance. It's like, Super Super Bowl. So, Super Bowl. And then we get knocked out. I'm not gonna round. leave I'm not gonna let my bro uh go solo on that on the bro show. Solo bowl. Solo, <laughs> solo bowl bro. on the show. Okay, what else we got before we start kicking to that mock guy? But uh, Yeah, I just had this. Should Cowboys draft a quarterback in the first round amid Dak Prescott uncertainty? I feel like we're kind of I feel like we've talked about that. Yeah, but not in the first round. Like did like I did I just kind of wanted to see what they thought about this. And is there a quarterback that like, do you think they should? They say at least four quarterbacks appear posed to be selected in top 10, those being Caleb, Daniels, uh, May, May, and McCarthy. And, those, and hey, those those boys look fierce. I guess you are right. We did talk about this. We did talk about, I think. Penix and Knicks, those are the two. And then you got Spencer Rattler of the QB1 Netflix special. Did you watch that? No. You never, what? QB1 Netflix special? You've never watched QB1 on Netflix? I, I watched uh, quarterback, but I never watched the QB one with uh, Justin Fields because Justin Fields was one of them. Right? Yeah, he was the one, and then Spencer Rattler was the year after. Yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't. Dude, you got a good some. You got go some, back. Should oh go yeah, back you got. It? You should definitely watch it. Let's just here. Let me just say thirty for thirty splashed in with Varsity Blues. Hmm. <laughs> okay. No, you should definitely go back I'll and go, watch I'll go, it. I'll, I'll go. But you're right. This article uh, kind of is just repeating what we talked about. Yep. The the players we talked about, dude. I think we just fucking get into this. Uh, you want to mock it? I think we mock it. Let's fucking mock it. This is uh, when it when it's only a bro show. It's nice. It's like a light meal. Well, yeah, you got forty five minutes of AJ to rambling out, <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't here, so we can bash him when he's not here. We can say it. Well, and, and do you like, miss AJ? I miss him. I miss AJ. I and, miss AJ. I can't when, wait for him to be back. To be honest, when we do two, I can't wait for him to be back in studio. Like in studio. In I, studio. I hate fucking shitty internet. Uh, lower resolution. Malaria. Low, low res J. Lower or, resolution J. Or, or dengue J. Dengue J. I do not like dengue J. Yeah, I agree. So, but we, want him, back, we Let, want him back in studio. Let's get this mock going there. Somehow. Producers all up in the studio. Yeah, I, I, it's nice having you here for, for the, it's like if I, if we were Regis and, uh, Kathy? Regis and Kelly or Regis okay. and Ka- Kathy, and it's like one of us is out for vacation. So somewhat like another celebrity subbing in. <laughs> You're subbing in for Way J? I'm subbing in. Okay. Oh, we got to get it. Okay, we're going to do a rule. So we are mock drafting. We got to do it. We're two weeks away from the draft. It's fun for us. It's a good way to do stuff. We're going to go public versus PFF. We're going to give PFF a little bit more juiced up here. You know what? This is not. Let's talk about. As I'm typing this, I want you to say this will be the the where you clip it. Okay. What do you want me to say? This is mock draft 7.0, is, or is it 8.0? This is mock draft 8.0. Go. Say, okay, say it again. What am I saying? This is mock draft. This is mock draft, can fan mock draft 8.0, two weeks away from the NFL draft. We are going to boost it up with, I'll zoom in here, public. We're going to go a little bit closer to the PFF board. We're not going to go turbo. We'll do mead, mead speed. Uh, care for posi- positional values. We're going to keep all that kind of stuff because we like it like that, if you know what I'm saying. But there's a little kicker. We've been doing this in our last few mock drafts. We've had a wheel, and we're going to have a wheel this time and add, as I type it up, you're going to read out to me what we're doing. Okay. Let me get to the wheel here. Okay, what are our what are our magical do- okay. wheel of doom mode has our old ones? <laughs> <laughs> so this is, so, uh, so yeah, we, th- we, we, Spin the wheel every single round, and whatever it lands on, no matter what, we have to do it, okay? So let's do these options here. We have offense, obviously. So offense is going to be one. Defense. I'm not going to put – I'll put defense somewhere in the middle so okay. they're not beside each other. So go Anth. Okay, so that means I get a pick. So Anth gets a pick. Yep. Uh, we'll go BPA. BPA, here, that I'll means cr- – I'll cross these off. That means no matter what, if it lands on BPA, we're taking whoever's at the top of the board. Yep. Okay. Then we'll go trade up. Trade up. Got it. Then we'll go defense. Defense. Then we'll go Adam. Add Bess in the his A. Then we'll go trade back. Trade back. 
I, I think that's a good option. And then we'll go QB. So uh, you have to take a quarterback in that round no matter what. Yeah, then we'll QB, go. QB no matter what. And then we'll go trade CD. Trade CD <laughs> Lamb. Oh, juicy. Got to trade CD Lamb if it lands on that. Oh, my God. That I hope that never lands. Hey, you can't you can't change. Are the those board. all of them? No, and then we have special teams. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we I feel like do we put a couple more in or do we just let it go with that? Uh I'm gonna go defense, offense one more time each. No, no, go offensive line, defensive line. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Offensive line, defensive uh, line. And this is just uh he was supposed to be on tonight, but he decided to bell on us the last moment. Hey yo. Nate Dog. Nate Dog hat. Okay, we got our we got it. So this is gonna be for our first pick, Ad. Oh gosh. <laughs> Round one. This is what we gotta do. We're gonna click to spin and see what we gotta do here for the Can Fan version eight mock draft seven rounder, baby. <laughs> Special <team>. team. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> So <laughs> I feel like we have to do a mulligan on this. Okay. We have to do a mulligan. Yes, we do have to. We, we can't, have to. We, we can't. We, <laughs> so would the mulligan be? Well, so, let's check special teams out. Let's let's just do it. I feel like going against the board's bad, bad, bad mojo. Bad mojo. Oh my god! No, we're re-rolling. We're re <laughs> like special teams. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing it. I'm redoing it. We're not taking a special teams player. Okay, that's better. Okay, Adam gets the. Okay, you get the first. You get the final. Save. Finally, I didn't get one chance to, these last seven mock drafts. I can't believe it landed on special teams. That is just insane. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the draft. Okay. Okay, we're bullshit. A, a lot of pressure on me. Well, special teams, like that's just not even. I mean, pause, 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 pause. Why? So if it's between you and I. You get it. You get final say, so, but that doesn't mean I get to decide if I want to trade up. No trade, trade up, trade back. down. You has to land on. So it. you. So I think next time we do it, when it lands on the person, you they get, get to do whatever. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Okay. So. Okay, I. I, I don't. I didn't want to rechange it after our mulligan of the special teams, but come on, chat. You know we're not. Do we have work. to look at special teams too when we get in? There. Yes, of course. Okay. And then I might just pick special teams. <laughs> Just to keep, just to keep, I don't know what's gonna happen to, to keep, us. Just to keep a sense. Okay, I just want to. I'm just gonna start off at. Okay, we are here. We, here we are at 24. I'm just gonna go special teams. The first player is. <laughs> uh, did you expect that? That it, special no. teams was the worst one it could have landed on. Yeah. Now, you could technically say on a special teams, I'm drafting Xavier Worthy to be. Maybe my, the to, special teams one means we have to draft special teams somewhere. Somewhere, we have to take a special teams player somewhere. Okay. So then we're still adhering to the pie chart. Okay. So the we, doom wheel. So seventh we, round. We we all, so here so here's the now option. Okay. We only have five more Picks. spins. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, even less than that because of the, the So the Cowboys have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have we will have six oh, so more we, spins. Yeah, no, but we spent me five, and special five teams, more so we have five more spins. Okay. okay. Okay, we okay. worked through that. We worked through that. Okay, so I'm still in consensus to listen to what you have to say uh, on who we should pick. I, it, it's just me being the final say. You're going with one of the. You're going with one of the linemen. Yeah, you're so, going with one of the linemen here. J.C. Latham, Jackson Powers, Johnson, or Graham Barton. Like that's a no-brainer. It's kind of who you like the most out of them. I mean, in your post today, I said I wanted to 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 draft Mims. Yeah, and that's not bad. Mims, we talked about, and this this guy, J.C. Latham, similar to Mims, played right tackle ad, but he played a lot more. So he played 2021, played actually right guard, so he's only played on the right side. 2022, 874 snaps. And then actually, interesting enough, 2023, uh, 874 snaps. And he got better every single year. So Latham's not a bad six, six, pick. 6'6", 335. You know what? We haven't picked him. We haven't picked I, Latham. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, and he's... Bama? He's a Bama. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Roll. Yeah. Roll Tide. Yeah. Ain't no, piss on anything okay. but the Tide. Latham is in the mold of an offensive lineman who does not come around often. He will just be 21 years old during his rookie season, yet he has two years of starting experience in the SEC. Despite drawing 18 penalties over the past two years. G give me a draft buzz on him. 
Give me a draft. You just buzzer. want to draft buzz him right out the bat. I want to draft buzz him because I, we we know what we got with JPJ. Yeah. Um, Barton's there as well, which we like Barton. Barton's so good. it'd yep. be, be between JPJ. I, the only thing. Can I sell you on one thing? I, the, that the, so in this post that I made today. Yep. Oops, not this one. Everybody, it was like seventy percent JPJ. Shit! How the fuck do I get out of this? Here, let me let me boost it down here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those dorks. <laughs> So in this post that I had today, I didn't even put in JC Latham because I didn't think he'd be there. I know. I, so I only put players that I thought. So that's saying JC Latham is a good pick. So JC 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 Latham, uh, it's going to come down to your draft buzz for me. Looks like a bruiser. I like, I like it. it. I like it. I like Got the, the frosted I like, tips. I like the dip tips. Got the frosted g tips. Give me give me one give me one. Strength and one weakness, and that has to come from you. He didn't run his 40. That's okay. Okay, I'll give you... I'm going to sell you on here. I'm going to take his best strength here for J.C. Latham. Should I close my eyes? <laughs> Displays a stout anchor and lateral mobility and pass protection. Production. Production? I uh, had the production. Effectively neutralizing speed to power transitions oh. and reacting to defensive counters. The, 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 the second one is even better for me. Okay, read it out. In the zone run scheme, his athleticism shines through, achieving reach blocks and backside seals with high efficiency and fluidity. Gets those backside bandits. Gets those backside bandits. Give me one. Uh, give me one weakness. Weakness. He... His foot speed is tested by rushers with wide pre-snap angles, suggesting a need for a refinement in pass set depth to counteract elite edge speed. So you see that with the Eagles, they'll do that. Right. Uh, and just uh, so so. Let's get back up to his face here. Get back up to the face. Okay, so uh, nobody, nobody says D line needs more help than O line. Totally hear you, but guess what? We we spun the wheel and your final say. We're final say, and then uh, Justin K says Barton, which we take in Barton. We like Barton. We do like Barton. We are a fan of Barton. I'd actually consider Barton maybe a bit more than uh, JPJ, but I guess what? Guess what, chat? I'm a BPA boy. Oh, you're going JC Latham. I'm going JC Latham. Wow! Welcome to the team. And now we can put him on the CanFan big board because we've never drafted him before. Okay, so we are going to pause it as soon as we draft him so that we can spin. Spin. I can't believe wheel. it landed spe special fucking teams on the first one. I just cannot believe it did that. We can't go against it a second time. Uh, what if it lands on it again? I think that, do they get removed? No, no. We, we didn't. Re I mean, okay, it, we sh didn't, it, sh we, it should, but it, it We didn't it say that. We didn't say that. Oh my God! Defense, 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 defense. defense. I, don't, I don't mind that. Okay, let's resume the draft and let's get down. We've got twenty four picks. I'm excited about this JC Latham pick. I hey man, I did not think he'd make it to twenty four. Doesn't make me super excited that he's a right tackle and only played right guard, but well, the guy's a beast. Very uh, talented. Gus player. says, Gus says, welcome to the team, Jay. And then Leroy Jenkins. Haven't seen Leroy Jenkins for a while. Leroy, says, welcome. Him. Crack him, son. Okay, so we got to pick a defensive player. Do we want to go line or do we want to go? It's tough. What? Who do we have available for linebacker? Yeah, just select them all. Leave some room over there. You know we got our boy. You yeah. know this is it. This is it. This is there's some good guys. Rook Oro 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 Horo. No, no, he does. You don't pronounce the H. Oro Oro. It's like row 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 your boat. Oro 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 is how you pronounce his name. Oro 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 Oro. So Oro Oro, have we? We've never. We've never taken we him. We didn't. He's undersized for what we want. I'm not saying undersized. The guy's a fucking absolute mammoth of a human being. He's undersized for what the Cowboys want and what I want as a person for the for our second round pick. Marshawn Neeland, I don't think we've ever taken. We've so let's taken. get a little boosh at him. Had a great year. Had yeah. a great 2023. Anytime ad. we can see everybody progressing 2022 to 2023, or sorry, 2020. 21, 2022, 2023. <sighs> Maybe we, no, we did take him. Did we take him? Because he's so big. I remember taking him. He's a, we're size queens. We've taken we all these guys. Queens. We've taken all these guys. So Marshawn, Mar Marshawn Nealon, we've taken him, but we haven't taken him in the second, I don't think. We've taken him in the second, I think. Have we? Because okay. remember, he's six foot three, 275, and someone was like, well, he won't be fast doing that. Right. Okay. So do we want a, a linebacker or do we want a lineman? The only two dudes we haven't taken out of these top six. Chris Jenkins? No, we've taken Chris Jenkins. Jaden Jaden Hicks. Jaden Hicks or Rook Ororo. We haven't taken those two dudes. What's Rook Ororo's uh, size? 
He's only he's under three hundred pounds. He's still he progressed a whole way. Six, six four, four two ninety five. A little tiny for uh, his height. Wouldn't like hate I hate it though. I, I want him to be above that. What's his? Uh... And look at this ad. He only weighed two sixty five when he joined the team. Ooh, okay, well, but, so he but he, he can put on weight. He put on size. He knows how to put on weight. Hey, draft buzz us. We have to settle this on draft buzz between at least Rook Ororo and Marshawn Nealon. I, I need to see what I need to see what they look like. Um, I mean, Edron Cooper is. He definitely does not look like a lineman. He's only two ninety four, man, for a defensive tackle. I mean, he looks like a lineman, just doesn't look like a defensive tackle. I, know, I just don't Let's get see it. how fast he is. Forty, okay, four eight nine. He's got wheels. Nobody, nobody says we need a one tech. Ex- exactly, yeah. I agree, and and especially in the second, who was our other guy? Neeland. Neeland, who's a, b- a bigger boy. Yeah, see, we've we've taken this dude. I remember this pick. Oh yeah, that's right. We were happy about how happy he was. Oh, but he's only two sixty seven here. At I don't like either of these dudes. I don't think this is our way to go. And we got to pick defense here. We got to pick defense here. Yep. I hate to always pick Edger and Cooper, but and what, I just feel like. Uh, well, what, what was Chris Jenkins' size again? Oh yeah, Jenkins. That's who AJ took in his uh, latest. Okay. Again, same progress. Progress it, progression. It's a Michigan boy. Oh yeah, Michigan. And AJ actually said Michigan. M- and you could hear him say it on purpose. Michigan. Yeah, he, he did didn't it. say Michigan. So okay, Chris so Jenkins, six three, six three three oh five. Out of the dudes, I think he's the one. Really over over top of the other guys. I mean that the weight that kind of weight that type of poundage difference is not like it's it's not like a thirty pound difference. They're also saying he's a, a a mid to late day two selection. However, his floor presents starting potential. Okay. I don't like that. That's like so. His floor is he's probably a starter. Okay. That's pretty good. Like if the if your floor is well, you're probably going to be a starter in the NFL. Your ceiling is well, you have a chance to be an All Pro. Right. We we're 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 pigeonholed in this here. So, what what is your heart telling you? I mine is saying Edrian Coop Edrian Cooper every time, every goddamn time. If the doubt and I just hate it because it's so boring. I don't want to be like Edrian Cooper. We get him again. Edrian Cooper. We get him again. We'll take Junior Colson, but you would never we, do that. I would never do that. Listen, we're we're this. The excitement for us is that we're picking based off of our spins. So, Edron Cooper round two is completely fine for me. We don't have to just. Win. I think we do an or a row 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 your boat. Ruk or row row. Hey, we're BPA boys. We're BPA boys. We already went BPA. Okay. <laughs> and then watch round three. It's gonna be BPA. Oh gosh. Okay. Welcome to the team. Nobody's gonna like this pick, but we did it anyways because that's how we do. Add <laughs> welcome to the team. Ruk row 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 your boat. And that was our defensive selection. Don't know if I love it. I would never take him over Edger and Cooper. PPA! <laughs> I fucking told you it was going to be PPA. Okay, well, let's just see how the board lands. We have now, to take... Now, now, we are also... Now... BPA is the top... B- BP, BPA in these mocks is literally BPA. Yeah, it's whoever's at the top. BPA for us in IRL is BPA for the position that is in need. Okay, well, what do we think then? Do we say that? I think so. But we didn't write it. We didn't write it, but it is... BPA's best player available. Okay, let's go BPA then. (laughs) Fuck it. We're rolling it. We're rolling the dice here. So, chat, whoever lands... (laughs) Leroy Jenkins says, I hope it's a QB. Whoever lands at the top of this is who we're taking. That's it. Nobody, Nobody says Jackson in the third. Oh, here we go. Just give us a running back. Add... Okay. Crack him. Crack him if you got him, son. Crack him for that BPA, baby. Hey. Wow. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Crack, crack him, him if you got him. Hey, that's Jaylen pretty Wright. good. That's pretty good. Hey, we want, we want, we wanted a halfback. I don't hate that. We almost had Michael Pratt. Dude, I'm actually, it was either going to be Jalen Wright or Bucky Irvin. Jalen Wright right here. That's actually a fucking steal, man. Bucky Irvin wouldn't have been. Either of these dudes. I, that BPA might be our best pick. <laughs> that the, the board landing at BPA, that might have been our best pick. Do we want to get a little spruce up on Jalen? Yeah. Jalen Wright, because we, we, he's not someone that we've we picked too much. But we have. He's an NFL caliber elite athlete for the running back position. His youth is both a positive and a negative. 
but he has succeeded in both gap and zone blocking concept and has top tier pass protection. That's huge. Yeah, we like it. Ability for three down potential in the NFL. I like this pick, dude. 5'11", 210. It's like I'm looking into a mirror. You said that last time, too. We took I know. I know. <laughs> I can't wait till we actually draft them, and you're like, it's like I'm, it's looking, like I'm looking into a mirror. I don't Jalen mind that Wright. this is a good pick. Yeah, we're taking it. Hey, I well, think this is our best pick. Got to pick them. Got it. And what we want next is we pick them, we pause, and then we have to trade up. That's what I'm hoping for. Ooh. It's kind of landing the way that you've been wanting to. You've been well. You've mine been, is special teams. You've been precogging it. Well, yeah. oh, sorry. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to take special teams somewhere. But we have to do it. It'll be the seventh round. I'm hoping that we get trade back or trade up. Okay. Or something that we gain six another or pick. Se- six or seven. We okay, can we'll look, look at, at it. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the team, Jalen Wright. That's a good pick. That is J-Dub. a good pick. Jay Dizzy. Uh, Leroy Jenkins says, who was the first pick? Ah, fuck, I was going to actually have our draft thing up here to say that, but. Who was our first pick? <laughs> J.C. Latham. J.C. Latham. J.C. Right, Latham, BPA. Nine. So we've actually went BPA every time. We went J.C. Latham, Rook, Ora, Hora, Roar, and then Jalen Wright at and running then, back. And then we made the joke about doing BPA. And, yeah, and it hit. Let's do it. Okay. Let's get it. Let's see what we got. Spin that wheel. Spin, Spin the wheel. That wheel. Wheel of. Spin that wheel. Wheel of doom. Defense again. Fuck. So okay. close to trade. Okay. Out. No. No problem. Defense twice. Two of the four. I mean, trade back. Adam defense and trade up and BPA is like all in a nice little tight sphere there. It's a good one. Okay, so now we're going a long ways here. We got eighty. We got eighty picks. We can talk about it. I don't mind the draft. I think the Rook pick. I mean, we can't pay, we can't take Edrin Cooper every sec, every no, time in the second round. But we round. should look at a lineman here. We took a lineman. Sorry, sorry. I mean a linebacker. Yes, yes. Ah, linebacker. You're, you're speaking now. You're speaking what I'm saying. Or a safety that could. Uh, no, we're not doing safety corner? linebackers. Uh, Leroy Jenkins says corner. I, I'm not opposed to a corner at this pick. If BPA is a linebacker or a corner. Yeah. <laughs> at this stage of the draft, there's a very good chance that it's going to be. A cornerback. There's a. It's pretty deep at this point with the draft. I should have. Sorry, I should have had it over here so we could have seen who's getting picked. I know you kind of just boosted I, over like that. There's right? our. There's our guy, Joy, Joe Milton. I mean, hey. I mean, Malik Mustafa. Don't don't hate it. Cool, cool Drake, ass name. We're Nugent boys. We've taken Nugent tons of times, but we can't. We have to pl- pick defense. Right. <laughs> oh, right. It was defense. This happened to us last time, and then you got Braden. So you got okay. Top, okay. let's just get defense set up here get so you don't get up. confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally got <laughs> confused there. Uh, okay, sorry. Leroy Jenkins, we can't pick Nugent. I messed up there. We're, the, the wheel said we have to pick defense. defense. We have to pick defense here. And for, for moving forward for the rest of our mock draft stuff, I'm going to have like kind of a window up here on what do we have to – like I have all this space down on the screen here that I could easily oh, yeah, just have, be have that there. Here's our guys at, and I don't know much about any of these dudes, to be honest, because I I would never at this point be taking defense, I don't think. So we just got to kind of, we got to go, we got to check out Mustafa. Got better okay, every got year. Got better every year. Got better every year. Didn't play much. Oh, no, he played lots of slot, dude. So that's that's a very good start. Mustafa has the skill set mentality of a throwback strong safety like that. He does not have the fluidity or long speed to be re- relied upon in single high rolls. That's okay. But he could he can hit. That's that's not bad. I mean, 5'11", 207 is more like me looking in the mirror. I'm just gonna say. And that's not a bad size to TBH. That's not a bad size. I mean, we don't. Uh, yeah, fuck. Do you want to check out McGregor? McGregor. I wish we had one like. Hey, call not up. not too bad, but not great. He had a bad he had a bad second year. I wish we could call Cowboys Chris and be like, hey man, we need info on this dude. Yeah. Uh, Leroy Jenkins says, can Bart Simpson play slot? We're gonna check him. We're gonna Bart, check Simpson out. Bart after Simpson. This. What about this ad? Yeah. Six foot six, two sixty seven. That's Bean Poley. He's a he's a he's a Bean Pole. Braden McGregor. Braden McGregor. That guy's got to be. He's got to be white, right? Braden McGregor. Oh yeah. Check him out. Totally. You want me to try to see if I can get Chris on the line? Yeah, get Chris on the okay, line. Okay. Let's see if we. Let's see if Cowboys Chris is gonna. Let's see if Cowboys Chris. He was on. Told you. With the name like McGregor. Look at this dude. I, I, I actually know. know a guy that looks exactly like him. I'll show you after. I know a dude that looks very similar to that guy. So we got Mustafa, Braden McGregor, Jalen Simpson. We're going to check out Bart Simpson here. 
again, got better. Got better. He did play some slot, so he's he's versatile. Check out his size. 6'1", 178. Get the fuck out of here with that. Six foot one, one seventy five, one seventy eight. Cowboys, Chris, look who, look who we got on. What Cowboys, <laughs> Chris is on the there show. There he is. We knew, we shouldn't have even wondered if he was gonna answer. We knew he was gonna answer. We knew, Cow- we knew Cowboys, Chris wasn't gonna leave us hanging. Okay, so Cowboys, Chris, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you. I, I we have one. Qu- Anthony's gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna put your answer up to the microphone. Uh, obviously, you know we're doing our mock drafts and we're spinning that wheel. We landed on defense, and of course, we got a Michigan boy. We got a well. We got a Michigan. We have to take defense right now, Chris. Round five, and we're kind of stuck here. And we're looking at this Braden McGregor, and I need a little insight on this dude. Is is that is that too early for this guy, or would him in the fifth round be all right? Yeah, I, I would take him in the fifth. Fifth is a good spot for him. Uh, I, I don't have any any concerns. No, that's just where he slotted, you know. Uh, so if I was you, pull the trigger. Yes, yes. Man. Welcome to the team. We're doing it. We're doing it. That's all I wanted oh, to hear. You Michigan know, boy. we got a Michigan Wolverine, my friends. Welcome <laughs> hey, to the team. All the Michigan Wolverines you can take. Get them all. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. Get them all. Collect them all, baby. <laughs> Chris, we love you and we appreciate you with that answer because we were a li- we were kind of stuck on this one. Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, and, and it's like, oh, too bad we couldn't call up Chris. I'm like, of I course can. I can call up Chris. <laughs> and of course, Chris is gonna answer because he's our boy. <laughs> love you, bro. Appreciate the insight. Thanks, Chris. Peace. Peace. Okay, we got a Michigan Wolverine. Welcome to Welcome the team. Welcome to the team. Okay, Ad, we only got, I think we only got two picks left. I'm going to, how do I check? Once you hit resume draft. Okay, I'll have to do it and just see what happens here. And pause. Okay, we got three. Three, three, okay. okay. So so we have two because one has to be special teams. Right. Because we had special teams hit. I first. think we should wait right to the last one because, has to be. because has to be. if what if we land on a special teams again? Oh, my God. Don't say that. We're rolling. <laughs> Please don't be special teams. Gus says, now we only have two lifelines. Defensive, Defensive line. line. <laughs> oh, my. This is the worst. Okay, well, we're doing defensive line. All the fun ones. And I, I feel like it's just going to be BPA at this point. It has to be BPA at this point. It has to be BPA. I don't do you, even. Do, do you think we could have gotten the Michigan Wolverine at this? Uh, uh, no. Uh, Braden McGregor? No, he's no, gone. He, he's long gone. McGregor is gone. Yeah, he's long gone. McGregor is gone. He had no chance. And and just so like if <sighs> you if, if, there, if, Ad. If, if you t- tune into the Draftacular Extravaganza, the last couple rounds are even more fun because we go through these types of scenarios. Ad, this is awful. Defensive line is the worst thing we could have got. <laughs> okay, so so bring up the D D line. Add. Well, you can't even look. You, you we we already we're we're losing our trade back. There he is, Keith Randolph. And let's see his size. Got Curtis Fifty Cent Jacobs right behind him. Oh man, defense. What is okay ha- at like- the, at this point though? You should st- so six five three or five. I still think bring up the line so we can just look at our line and options here. Okay, okay, okay. Because I don't think BPA. Good call, good let's, call. Let's, let's not just land on BPA for this. Okay. Okay. I like what you're saying. But I do like what Leroy Jenkins saying. Our defensive line is going to be stacked. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to have some pieces. That's for sure. The Dallas Cowboys make an unprecedented move by stacking their defensive line in the draft. Ad, we have to go with this guy. We have to. Well, give me Evan Anderson. Just give me just just play with me here a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. So he, he, he he's, he's a big boy. <sighs> Maybe we just want this chunky fuck up. On his <laughs> Evan and Anderson, let's check mm, him out. I'm pretty sure we've looked at him Mr. before. Anderson, I'm pretty sure we've checked out that three, Evan. that three fifty six body. Let's see what you got. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Not Troy Anderson. Where's Evan? There he is. There he is. No, that's Neil. The fuck is he? Anderson. Harry B. Florida. Yeah, we've looked at this dude. Yes. Yes, we we've have. We've looked at this dude. Now, let's see what are the other guy. I, 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 I would still say let's go with the devil we know. Yeah, and he's got he's a size dude. And then we got Keith. We've I'm pretty sure we've taken Keith Randolph Jr. Also, let's check him out. How have I? How do I not remember these people? We've because you're got... always looking at chat. 
that's how you know what you're not wrong <laughs> you're... oh my god welcome, I mean, to yeah, welcome to the team team look at this you, you got us welcome to the team look at that if you ever say that your photo doesn't matter it does <laughs> welcome to... we're sitting here we're we're on the board right now we are sitting at pick round six pick 40 pick 216 and we got this dude sitting on the other end oh, of yeah, the we're phone. We're taking him. We're taking him all day all long. That dog is in there ready to fight. Welcome Let's to go. the team. KRJ. Add, we got two picks left. Randolph Jr. Okay. We're going to get trade CD Lamb here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're going to get trade CD Lamb here. Oh god. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. Pencil it in, write it down. Trade CD Lamb's okay, coming good. up. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, offense. offense. Woo. Quarterback. <laughs> yeah, it might have to be. Take the quarterback. Okay, let's resume. After after a talk like this, and hey, our last one special teams. Yep. Hey, didn't we, work out terribly. CD C- Lamb is lives to be another Dallas Cowboys. So we have offense. A wide receiver's not bad. I mean, we already got <laughs> what? What's that? What are you laughing? Baji says Adam is man of the people. Chad is life, and Randolph looks like a killer. He does. Yeah. <laughs> he does. Okay. Hey, I don't mind Jordan Win- uh, we, uh, a wide receiver there or Dominic <laughs> Lovett. <laughs> nice audible. Nice audible. Jordan Whitney. I don't mind Jordan uh, wide receiver. <laughs> uh, we've been in this spot before. We've with been hey, meeting Jordan hey, Whitney we've been, or Dominic Lovett. Do you love it or do you? I, love, I think it? I think love it. I think love it was the one of the ones that we were looking at. Check them out. Uh, I had a good. I had were, a good twenty twenty two. Didn't do very well and. Oh, these are just so small. Oh, it's too small. Okay, sorry, Whittington. What what are you? Check them out. J Dub. I mean, how many how Texas? Many, hook them. How, how many Texas? Oh fuck, we're not. I don't even know if we do go down this route either. I think we got to take the Texas boy, six foot one, two hundred four. He projects yeah. as a slot receiver in the NFL, okay. one with a thicker build for yards after catch and contact. I think we were right in this situation before where we looked at Lovett and then we went back to Winton. Winton. Wittenton? Wittenton's the guy. Okay, uh, AJ would probably say, "Hear me out, Isaiah Davis." Yeah, but we, well, we got our guy, Jalen Wright, already. Yeah, okay. Okay, Jordan Whittington, welcome oh, to the team. Ah. It's happened. Okay. Damn it happened. It. I was going to say, who? what quarterbacks are there still? Oh, yeah, we could have done QB. And guess what we're doing now, boys? We have to do special teams. Special teams. Let's just see what the wheel would have said. No, the wheel already spoke. The wheel already spoke. I don't want to fuck don't it up. Don't go away. Don't go against the wheel. So we don't need a kicker. We're, we don't need a kicker or a punter. We don't need any of these fuckers. What if we're drafting a defensive player just to play special teams? Well, that's what I was going to say. So so I think we could also put... We're totally bad. <laughs> yeah, I know, but this is what I was saying earlier on. I think we team. could do linebacker. You could do linebacker or a wide and, receiver. Uh, You think so? Yeah, for speed. Yeah, but I know you, we you got Tur- Turpin, we have, though. We Turpin. Okay, so I, think, I think you could do linebacker. Or safety. Running back. And... Oh, shit. How do you, how do you select them all? Okay, I hold shift. We could select everything. I think this is fair. I think this is fair. Linebacker, but, running but, back, so like, and safety. So the problem with like, if you were to look at Rasheen Alley, you'd have it'd have to be, uh, chat saying corner. We could look at corner as well. You know what, Ad? We just got to do it. We just got to. We got to. If we said special teams, we got to take a special team. I know, player. but it's it, they only have it as kicker and punter. I think we take the best punter. We don't know. We don't know when anger's done. Anger's they win a Super Bowl this year. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna hang it up on top of my game. You, you 100. You know, automatic Aubrey ain't going nowhere, right? Anger's getting a little, a little long in the teeth there. I think we got to go punter. That's my and Austin. Let's check out. Let's check him out. Mac let's see what he looks like. I, yeah, Mick Namara. Mick, great name. Not McNamara is a better name, but look, these fucking guys don't even have any stats on them. Oh yeah, we're gonna check them out though. Not even in draft buzz. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's that's our that's boy our KRJ. Guy. Baby. I can't wait for I can't wait for him to get picked. Actually, I mean that's the fucking. Thumb oh yeah, right there. there's our punter. Oops. Let's check him out. Look at this dweeb. I think we got to bring him on just for how he looks. Look at this dude. Okay. We're gonna make his dream ad. His dream was to be okay. in the NFL, and we have a chance to make his dream come or become a reality. We welcome him to the team. <laughs> Watchy says, wait, Carlton Johnson, defensive back from Fresno. Special teams get him. You know what? Uh, Boots trumps my opinion. Let's yes. get the guy. Where is he, Boots? Get, or add, give me the name. Uh, Carlton Johnson. 
cornerback. <laughs> and Boots goes, no, forget that nerd. Okay, what is it? Carlton. Carlton Johnson. It's not EB there? from Fresno. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. Search players. Oh, nice. How do, what is his name? How do you spell it? Carlton, C-A-R-L-T-O-N, Johnson. He's gone. Oh, no. Boots, he's gone. Do we have to find him? Yeah. Well, now we're going to do, we're going to deep dive here. Carlton John, where's he from? Fresno? Fresno. Oh, yeah. Boots is, Boots was a high on Deron Bland, all because of Fresno State, and Boots was right. So are you looking at? I'm looking. Carlton, where are you at? What was his last name? Johnson. Boots, that's a made up player. Yeah, Boots, just, did you, did, Boots are you just laughing at us? Because- are you high playing Madden? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't think he'd be this high up, would he? I, I don't think he would be this high up. Boots, I love you, but I don't know if he's there. Okay, so are you doing it right? Just type in Johnson. Cedric Johnson. Yeah. Okay. So you know. No, he's legit. He says. Okay. So that you guys, I hate to say it, but I would have went with Boots's guy, but. <laughs> Austin McNamara, <laughs> welcome to the no! team. McNamara. Are you ready for one of the worst draft grades ever? Uh, Actually, no. you know what? I think we, we went, got a, I think we got a good one. We went heavy BPA. I think we got a good one. We went heavy BPA, so but it's probably bef- not. Before it gives oh. our trade, before trade, before it gives our trade, oh, bring up Carlton Johnson okay. and Draft Buzz so that we can take a look to see what he looks yeah, like. Yeah, good call. On Draft Buzz, too, that's a good idea because we can see where he's kind of at his positional group. Not this uh, McNamara. Just, like, add an A in there for McNamara. Like, McNamara just sounds so much easier to yeah. say. There he is. There he is. Carlton, Looks like I, Carlton. I, straight up top button. I like it. 5'11", 173. It's definitely not, not looking Not in. big boots. He's small. But what's his 4'3"? I mean, what's his... Oh, oh my point. God. 4.28. That's a special team player. So that's why he's not there. That's why he Pure is, speed. That's why he's not. Uh, I gotta find this cat now, dude. I need to find him. Sorry, before we figure out our grade. Don't worry, I'll edit all this out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chat. You gotta bear with us. I gotta find Boots's guy here. What? Where, where did Boots's guy go? Gotta find him. Carlton, Cade, Cole. Because had we known that, we probably would have picked him earlier. Four two eight. That's that's a speed demon. That guy is a flying. Cedric Fifty Shades of Grey guy. There's no way this guy, guy's not even on. There's just no way that he's not even on PFF. It just makes no sense. No, he he would be there. So we're so we're looking for Carlton here. We're looking for Carlton Johnson. Run ran a four two eight. That's very fast. That's that that's a that's a record. Hey, a look at the ago. Dallas Cowboys drafting. Oh, back to back Michigan guys going there. That happens. The Michigan boys, the Michigan Wolverines, it'll happen. Ad, I'm not seeing this cat, man, unless he went, like, second round. Well, go up higher, then. Yeah, but I got I to gotta finish it out, just okay. in case I missed him the first time, you know? Yeah, yeah, I hear. My bad, guys. I had to step away for a bit, helping daughter with homework, trying to multitask here. I don't know. Hey, man, it happens. Boots, don't ever apologize for that. We know it happens, man. I have to help, help Ad with his homework all the time. Yeah, Ant always helps me with homework. Hey, there's our guy. There's no, he, he, I don't know. No, no. So we're going. We're, okay, we're, we're going to resume draft, and then we'll search for him afterwards just uh, to make sure. See where he's at. Yeah, see what his ranking is. Okay, let's grade the draft. I'm going to boosh it in. Okay, we're oh, already dude, booshing. Hey, hey, we're already booshing. We're booshing. Okay, JC Latham, predominantly, hey. predominantly right tackle, but too good to pass up when he falls to you at 24. Hey, draft buzz, uh, sorry, draft buzz said yes for his look, but PFF says A for his grade. He did. And then our second-round pick, Rook Aurora Row, another, another A. a. When I see a third A there, I think. And then we go Jalen Wright, oh, 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 which was hey, our BPA pick. Hey, hey, hey that's hey, Adam, hey, Alex, hey, and Anthony. Hey, hey, which hey. one? Which one of these A's has malaria? <laughs> <laughs> Way J does. Braden McGregor C, C plus, plus, but hey. we're not faulting. Hey, and you know what? I don't. Uh, we called our boy Cowboys Chris. We had to. We had to pick uh, a defensive lineman there. Which, I don't know if the Cowboys go defense there, but we had to. The board spoke. The board spoke. The wheel spoke. Keith Randolph Jr., B-. minus. B-, like it. Okay, okay. Back-to-back defensive line players. Spin that wheel. Jordan Wittenden. Wittenden, A. Hold them up. 
Hook 'em, baby. Hook Welcome em. to the team. Hook 'em and crook 'em. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised you I'm surprised Austin Mick Mick Namara was a C plus. I thought that'd be an F. What do you think we got here? B plus? There's so two C pluses. Two C pluses and a B minus. I think we could be a B plus. B plus. Actually, how many? No, no. You know what? A minus. A minus. That's a good call. A minus. Let's boost it in. Hey man, that's a good draft right there. And again, we say this every time. A lot of players that we haven't taken before. Which it, again forces us when we're doing our our uh, the Sunday before the actual draft when we recap all of our mock drafts. It'll be like one of those uh, shows where you it, they have to fill a they have to in a season of a sitcom they have to fill that episode fill so it it's in. like that Just episode where in. they're sitting around a table remembering like past seasons. Um, that's what's gonna happen here. We're gonna remember past mock drafts. Oh shit! And that's just the the whole first round. Okay. There. Okay. So see, no, can, you can't go down. It's just oh, the first dang, round. Dang. Okay. So Brian Thomas fell all the way to the the Chiefs. There. Oh man, that'd be deadly for them. But go ahead and download that image, and then get off that, and then I don't see. Even know how I did that. Oh, go okay. go back up. So download the image, just so you have it. Because I downloaded. Look at this! One. Great job. That's a good looking draft. They didn't even give a suggestion. Probably because we went BPA for a lot of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got, grab yourself a chance. All right. We will be back. Oh, I was going to say, check out Carlton Johnson. We did already. No, in where he's ranked. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just so we know. Okay. I like that. I do like Let's that. Let's go back into the draft. You don't actually have to do it. It's like, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> you can do whatever your heart desires there, son. Okay. Home. Not on draft buzz. I'm talking. You about can't go into the draft. Go after. into another draft. Oh, create a new, create a new, I see what you're saying. Create a new one. You, you threw me for a loop there. Okay, how do you do that now? New mock draft. Let's check them out. Check them out. Let's boost them in there for a second. I can't wait to take them first round now. <laughs> okay. Imagine, Carl, he, imagine he's gone first round. He's gone. Goes he's not back. even on the board. <laughs> Sorry, Boots. He ain't there unless I'm spelling Carlton wrong. He's gonna be a late sixth or seventh round pick, so maybe he maybe he isn't on PFF. He's not on PFF. He definitely could have been okay. So Ma the McNamara pick should would have been an A plus for us with the uh, with. Well, no, it would have been a, an F because he's not even on their board. But I'm saying in re in IRL. Okay, well he's gone. Okay, we will be back Sunday. Man, we are two weeks from the draft. Essentially, by Sunday we'll be 1.5. Way J should be back. We got a special guest Sunday too. You guys got to tune in. Wait till you see who we drop. I actually don't have any. <laughs> but kidding. we are going to be doing. Uh, we're, we are going to be doing uh, a, a watch along. I don't know if we're going to do it as a live stream, but we are going to be watching draft day with Kevin Costner. Eventually, yeah. But let's uh, talk about our next live stream, which will be Sunday. 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 Oh shit! In. Uh, uh, uh. Thanks, chat. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Peace. You can see where we started.